Hi everyone, welcome back to Fresh Aquatics. For today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about glass surfing and stress in your betta fish. This applies to all fish owners, so if you are watching this and you don't have a betta, then keep watching because this could still apply to you. So first of all, for those of you who don't know what glass surfing is, glass surfing is basically the erratic behaviour that causes your betta to constantly pace up and down the glass in his tank. In other words, you may see your betta or fish pacing around their tank, just going crazy in the water, not sure what they're doing, where they're going, etc. And it is quite easy to spot because overall they won't be acting like themselves. There are a number of causes for glass surfing and if you notice it constantly, this could tell you that something isn't right. If you notice your fish glass surfing, then it's important that you figure out why so that you can put a stop to it. Today, I'm going to be telling you the number one causes of glass surfing, particularly in your bed of fish, so that you can help put things right. Per water conditions. If you don't have the right water conditions, your fish is going to become stressed. And one of the most common symptoms of stress in bettas in particular is glass surfing. It may also be that your tank is not at the right temperature. For a betta fish, I know it has to be between 24 and 27 degrees, so make sure you have the right temperature in your tank. One way of keeping your tank healthy and thriving is having live plants. And I know it might seem like extra work to own a live plant, but honestly, you don't have to do any work at all with it. Just plant it and you're good to go. This also brings us on to our next tip, not enough decorations. This tip only applies to bettas. Bettas are very intelligent fish, so if they don't have enough decorations, they can become bored. Yes, that sounds a bit weird, but it's true. Also, without decorations, your betta won't have anywhere to hide and they need somewhere to hide to help them feel safe. So therefore, they will become stressed. The wrong tank size. This can apply to other types of fish too, but if you have the wrong tank size and your tank is too small, then this can affect their mental health and their growth. A betta tank needs to be at least seven liters. If it's any less, your fish can become stressed. It's always better going for the bigger option rather than the smaller. The wrong tank mates. If you have aggressive tank mates, then they might try to attack your fish. But depending on your fish's nature, your fish may try to attack them first. You need to be especially careful when choosing tank mates for your betta because they can be very fussy when it comes to sharing their home with someone. A new home. You'll be pleased to hear that it could be just as simple as moving into a new home. The stress of moving can get to your fish and they can become anxious until they settle in. Unfortunately, all you can do is wait. Up next, we have something that only applies to betta fish. For those of you who clicked in and do have a betta fish, here's one of the reasons that I really want you to listen to. It could be that your betta is seeing its own reflection. Now this may sound a little bit weird, but yes, betta fish can get scared at their own reflection. It's actually quite common for your betta to start pacing and or flaring at his own reflection. He thinks it is another male betta and as betta fish are extremely territorial, he will want to make it his mission to scare the other betta away. This can be really stressful for your betta and flaring could damage its fins, so you have to find a cure fast. Here are some ways to stop a betta fish from seeing his reflection. Now for this first tip, I want you to be really careful because unfortunately it hasn't really worked for me. So make sure you just give this a try, experiment with it and see if it works. But one way of removing his reflection is putting up a board. Sometimes this makes it worse, so be careful. My experience was I put up a white shirt over the side and could of course see his reflection way better and actually started flaring at his own reflection which is far worse than pacing. So always be careful whenever you're trying the board technique. Another trick could be dimming the lights. 
and this works because it removes any light that is projecting off the glass and allows him to not see his reflection, his reflection completely disappears. So dimming the lights could be a great option if you can dim the lights in your tank. Another option is to just leave it. Soon your beta might get used to seeing his room reflection and will just ignore it after a while. And if the worst comes to the worst, you may have to move the tank or the light source. Maybe it's the position of the tank causing the reflection to show. So if it gets really, really bad and you've got no other choice, definitely, definitely go and move the tank. And lastly, put a plant or decoration in the area where he can see his decoration. For me, I think it's working. I actually went and bought a plant yesterday and put it in the place where he was always looking at his reflection. He still seems to think that there's another bed over there and as you can see, he goes over to it and tries to force his way into the plants to see his reflection. But overall, it's working for me. So if it works for me, it should work for you. And that is it guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and I also hope that your beta gets well soon if he's stressed or feeling a little bit territorial. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now!